Hello, my name's Martin. Welcome back to another video. And today we're exploring an abandoned mill. I hope there's no uh, <laughs> ghost sake on or anything <laughs> like that, or anything evil lurking behind us watching us. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. Today is going to be an adventure, and you can tell it's an adventure because this man's here with us, Connor. And it's down to Connor that we found this place today because we're here in Halifax and we've found Old Lane Mill. Look at that, amazing, eh? Now, apparently, a little bit of Googling, a little bit of research. 1825, first example of a, a cast iron framed uh, spinning mill, apparently. So, we're going to see if we can get inside and have a quick look around and uh, see what Delights has to offer us. And get some great shots for them. And get some great shots. You ready to go, Connor? I'm ready, mate. Let's go. Got my GoPro. GoPro in it. Best investment in the world. Yeah. Well, it was when I went to that uh, well, weren't it? It we did turn out not to be a well, it turned out to be something else. <laughs> we're going to go over here and check out what would have been probably the boiler room or something. So, so obviously at some point they've converted they've converted to diesel probably or to oil or something because if you look at the side here there's a bigger uh, oil tank so boiler room i think boiler room i'm saying boiler room because there's a chimney there big chimney there the flue is on the side of it, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, and obviously would have provided the, the power for the mill at some point. So we'll see if we can see the flue. The original flue, because there's one on the other side here. Yeah, there, see? So I suppose I could climb through, but I'll be absolutely filthy and I'll have to get in the car after. I'm not doing it. <laughs> Down there. Wow. Look at the pillars. Yeah. Oh, 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 I'm trying to work out where the engine room was. I think this was the engine room because next to it is the uh, where the boilers were. I think we're in the engine room here. But them stairs that are there are modern because of the way that is inside them. Yeah, we've missed a trick here, Connor. Because this would have been. This was the this was the beam engine, weren't it? Yeah. This is probably this must have been where the wheel sat, possibly for the beam engine that spun round. It were a water wheel. It's listed as a steam mill, um, steam driven mill. So I think that behind me there was where the beam, the the, the big flywheel for the beam engine was. This was the engine room. Uh, must have. It must have just gone up on ropes and pulleys up there somewhere. We're just splendoring at the uh, wooden panels there as well. Oh, well, it's like it'd been a, like a nice little surround for the wind, hasn't it? And then, yeah, quite fantastic, but obviously it's all been stripped out and everything. Um, what an amazing place. Good work. The boy did good. He got us into a good place. He said to me, I want to go to a place. I said, where is it? He said, somewhere in Yorkshire. I was like, right, okay. Anyway, no, he came good. He found us this place and it really is quite a fascinating place. 
Okay, so when I was at the mill, I have to admit to you, I didn't know a vast amount about it. But the history is absolutely fantastic. It was built in 1825. Um, I think completed in 1827. It's currently the oldest and largest surviving example of a multi-storied steam-powered iron-framed textile mill in Halifax. Probably one of the oldest uh, mills that I will ever get to explore. This place is old and because it was so old, 1825, I was wondering, I was querying whether, because obviously a lot of stuff I look at is Victorian. I thought, was it Victoria on the throne at the time? And guess what? It wasn't. When this place was built, it was George the Fourth that was on the throne, one of the kings of the House of Hanover, one of the German kings. I mean, that is just incredible. It, it's pre-Victorian. So, yeah, I mean, this place, 193 years old, totally mind-blowing. Anyway, let's crack on with the explore. Paul, well, tell me this is the stair tower. So we've made it inside, and it's quite a place, to be honest with you. Really interesting. Um, we think we're in the stair tower. Unfortunately, it could be that there's no stairs. Probably not a stair tower. Offices, bathrooms, not sure what it was. Okay, we've made it to floor number one. Uh, floor looks pretty solid, to be honest with you. So apparently it's cast. This place is built with cast and stone. Uh, so these will be cast iron, apparently. 1825, this place. Uh, 1825, I always think of the railways. Railways, 1830. So this predates the railways a little bit, doesn't it? There's a room over there as well. So <coughs> the whole point is to try and get as high as possible to try and get to the top. Uh, obviously depending on danger levels and everything, we're not gonna put ourselves in danger, but there's a pretty solid uh, staircase there. So we'll take it as far as we can. Oh, a bit of a hole in the ground here. All sorts of uh, lift shafts and um, and things, lift shafts and uh, obviously trap doors where they probably hoisted things up throughout throughout the various floors in the mill over time. It's a health and safety nightmare. <laughs> Bit of a arch going on there. I mean, what that's about? Oh yeah, might have extended it. I don't know. Sort of right underneath the, the window frame. And what I love about these places is right. You would never think of putting bricks on the ceiling, would you? But they've got brick brick arch ceilings. Uh, absolutely amazing. I mean, it reminds me of the bonded warehouse in Manchester. Do you remember when I went round the Granada site? Um, we went in bonded warehouse. That had little brick arches in the ceiling as well. So we're a little bit, we were a little bit stumped by these um, solid bits on the floor here, but I think it, they were mounts probably for machines. Probably not that old, but this may have been refitted at a later date and it had an engineering firm in there or something like that. So at least we've got a decent staircase to walk up, which is pretty solid. And we are now on floor number five, I think. Well, I'm saying it's a pretty solid <laughs> staircase. It's a solid staircase, but it ain't that safe. Look at this. And all the floors are pretty much the same. That's why I've not gone out of my way to show you every single floor, but I'll just turn the camera around again. I 
and the higher we get, the more sort of um, the condition of the mill sort of deteriorates more. But I'll tell you why, I'll show you why. Uh, look at the, uh, the exterior wall there now. And I'm actually starting to worry about the floor now. You'd think it, a solid floor like this would never go through, wouldn't you? But it does go through quite a bit. I think we're near the roof now. One more floor. Clean the lens. <laughs> so, top floor. And um, we've checked the floor and it seems pretty uh, safe. So I'll show you around. I'm saying safe. There's quite a wind up here now as well, but you've got to watch out for things like this. I ain't going near there. And this one keeps giving me kittens by going near this door here, this <laughs> bloody door. <laughs> yeah. I'll just go with her, you know me and chimneys, I'll go and take a look at the chimney down here. And Connor's pointed out somewhere, he said it's got a big crack in it, so I'll have a look at this crack in the chimney. Right, if I can bear going near the edge, because I'm terrible with heights, um, we'll look at the, see the chimney here. So, chimney, I think that chimney's probably been capped at some point, uh, not the full height. But like Connor says, it's got a big crack in it. Um, and it's got uh, like a, you know, the iron frame round it to try and hold it together near the top as well. Um, down below here, you can just see the top of the boiler room. Well, what I think is the boiler room. It is odd, isn't it, how that building is like not properly connected to this building. Yeah. So we're going to have a bit of a torch moment, we found a little bit of a shaft here, um, don't know what it was, whether it was a, bit, a drainage thing off the roof, I'm not sure, but uh, just a hole here. It's not a sponsored promo. So, so sharp there. Oh, there we go. That's good. Well, it's up now, isn't it, with debris and more. Show me your new torch, Connor. <laughs> Rechargeable. Like I said, it's not a sponsored promo, but millets, 20 quid. How much? Millets, 20 quid. Millets? Nice one. <laughs> He's proper proud of that torch. It's a good torch, though. So there's a good example here of how this place was built, because the floor's been exposed here, and you can see the top of the cast pillar, where it meets with the girder, and the way it's secured on. I'll just show you now. Um, obviously, vertical pillar comes up here, meets that girder, and then some kind of uh, some sort of linchpin there, isn't there? A wishbone. That goes into yeah, that goes into the stone floor, uh, and then there, there you've got your brick arches that that make the floor. So they've actually been up here. They've actually bricked in this. Can you put your torch there? Yeah. yeah So they've actually bricked at there, aren't they? Made an arch that's rested on the on the girder there, the cross section, and then arched it over. But well, good little uh, example there, the arrangement and the way it all uh, the way it all sits together. 193 years ago. That is just incredible, isn't it? That's just full of shit. Uh, obviously, a fair old bit of corrosion now on it. Look at that. I'm just pulling away there, pushing that bit away, but still. Uh, Still pretty solid that, isn't it? To, to, to say how old it is. So, the holes in the floor must be, the, it's the brick, those little brick arches that have gone through. And I wonder if something heavy has sat here over the years and it's just Closed caused them. a lot of weakness in that, in the little brick arch. Because on the whole, the floor is pretty good. As you say, built to last. I think what I like about, I mean, you could argue that modern day buildings were built to last, but I think what I like about 
old buildings that are built to last was there was so much labor in them weren't there the brickwork the stonework the ironwork um whereas today a lot a lot of the yeah a lot of the uh, aesthetics that's it the aesthetic yeah and the, the well that's right actually connor you're right there because not only was there a lot of work involved in making it stand for 193 years they went for an aesthetic as well so they went they made it look nice so it had arches and it had decorative chimney chimney tops and it had plaques in it and things like that and if you look at the i'm just looking at the wall there i'll show you the wall it's not just straightforward uh, pieces of uh, brick or anything it's actually irregular so i love the way the view's like a big square block there smaller blocks and all the rest of it craftsmanship that so we're talking about the roof and the uh, it's asbestos the roof at the moment just thinking you reckon it would have had slate originally it's look at these it's got these like Oops, yeah, there as well. yeah they're, and they're cast into it aren't they so possibly slate originally eh? maybe now apparently 1905 there was a huge fire here that apparently destroyed the roof which may be why it was later redone with asbestos no more details on the fire but apparently it was massive can you imagine the kids that worked here and the family <laughs> families that worked here and kids and stuff like that because how many people's lives have been through this mill yeah people have spent an entire working life here the thing is not only was he, the, the only, they lived till 30, it was like no health and safety was there, so they died in industrial accidents. Mm. We call health and safety these days, but flipping that, you know, the, 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 the needless lives that were lost just through daft industrial accidents. Now, another thing that I learned after we'd been there, that porthole there that you're looking at, um, that apparently had a clock in it and that's in one of the gable ends of the mill um, and again talking about the aesthetics of the place uh, it had a clock in and I'm wondering if this thing hanging down in front of me that you can see is a part of the clock mechanism who knows eh? Um, I do love the view out of there that chimney is amazing talk about like stuff in Manchester that chimney I love the crown on the top of the chimney it's like it's almost like the old domestic chimney a little bit Look at the lintels here. These things here. When you think that they just sort of like slide off, wouldn't you? But they're not. Obviously, they're not. They're pretty solid. Um, and there's the view. One of the things I've noticed about the outside of the mill is that it's quite clean on the outside, and obviously. These places got blackened with soot, um, so I think at some point it's been sandblasted. Obviously, I don't know when, but I think it's been sandblasted and cleaned at some point. Right, what we're going to do now, we've had a look round, we're going to go back down to uh, the ground floors and we're going to try a little bit of a photography. I've got some coloured lights, I'm going to see what it's like because um, it's quite dark on the, on the ground floor. It won't work up here, obviously. So we're going to go down to the ground floor, see if we can light it different colours and just see what the photography comes out like. It might be rubbish but we'll see ya. Yeah.
So I enjoyed that, it was a really good explore, so good on Connor for getting us here and finding this place and a uh, great place to have a look around. I don't, I, I hope you don't pull it down, I can't see him pulling it down because it's the first of its kind. But I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. We had lots of fun walking around, trying to do the lights and everything. And, we, uh, we had loads of torches, but my torch, your torch, and uh, we're still using the little the little ones with the colours that we're yeah. using for the photographs. We're still using them to try and navigate around and fall over. So. Trying to get combinations yeah. of like, a bit more yellow there, Con, a bit more green. But it was quite fun, actually. I'd like to do that in Manchester. So thanks for watching, and I shall see you very soon in the next video. And uh, I just want to say thanks for watching as well. Uh, I hope it was entertaining. And check out my channel, Curvex UK. So yeah, check out Connor's channel, Curvex UK. <laughs> Me and Connor had our waders. We'll be in there now. <laughs> Maybe not, eh? Maybe not. <laughs>